P.J. Washington. Mason Plumley. Terry Rozier the third. Gordon Hayward. Lamelo Ball. on 2K Sports. And tonight, it'll be the Charlotte Hornets going up against the Philadelphia 76ers here in Wells Fargo Center. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. GA, it's all yours. Kevin, thank you. Gordon Hayward is a versatile offensive player, but he said, for me, being aggressive is playing downhill. Usually, if I can get things going to the rim first, it opens up every other part of my game. And he's still able to collapse defenses, finish, and create for teammates. Guys? David, he is the total package. And powering into the first week of the new year, here's a brand new look at the power rankings. They're stuck in neutral, unable to gain any real positive momentum. And seeing where the 76ers are, they're really happy with the way they're playing. Definitely on the upswing. Everyone doing their part. So let's take a look at the Charlotte starting line. The guard spots are filled by Ball and Rozier. Hayward out there with Washington. And it's Plumley in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the 76ers. Down on the block, it's Harris and MB. The guard pairing is Milton and Curry. And it's Tribal in at the three. And Greg people already predicting the MVP for this season. Is it too early to start talking about that? I mean, we have roughly half a season left to play. Y yet people love to talk about sports, period. Especially when it comes to the most prestigious individual award out there. Passes it to Rogier. Hayward with the ball. Off target with his three. Now, here's Thibault, defended by Hayward, and B, the pass to Milton. Rozier against Curry. And B, kicks to Milton, four on the clock. Curry trying to break free. A shot's good for Milton. 
Dalton's got his second bucket. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. Tipped away, and that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. About one minute into the first quarter, the feed to Hayward. Pass to Rogier. Five on the clock. Basket good. One of the things coaches like is aggressive players, and Rogier is that in spades. Eibel on the wing, and there's the pass to Embiid. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Off on the layup. Now here's Hayward. He's guarded closely. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And it's hard to believe that Gordon Hayward has been playing for over a decade in the NBA. Now a seasoned vet firmly in the second half of his career. Free throw drops for Hayward. And Hayward has had a bit of a career renaissance lately, looking more and more like his old self. And Kevin, it's just great to see him playing at this level again. I think it's testament to how much he loves the game of basketball as well as how badly this guy wants a chance to win a championship. Hayward hits them both. You know, Hayward, like a lot of NBA players, is a pretty serious gamer in his free time off the court. And you know what, Kevin? There are some people that think video games help with your hand-eye coordination. I'm not sure if that's the case or not, but I do know there are worse ways to rest up and keep yourself ready for the next real game than what Hayward was doing. There's Milton following the basket by LaMelo Ball. Harris inside the line. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Pass to Plumley. Kicks the ball. Jacks up a three, drills it from outside. Mellow ball. Ball's got five points so far. Well, I like the fact that this is something Ball continues to work on, that deep shot of his. He knows he's got to be a threat from deep to expand his game. And here's Harris from the arc. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Five points in the game. And only one miss in the first five attempts. Clearly feeling. Passes it to Plumley. Outside ball. Over Embiid and the rejection by Embiid. Incredibly light footed at seven feet tall. Embiid can cover a lot of ground defensively. And, and with LaMelo Ball, ball. this team struck gold. Uh, exactly what the Hornets needed. Great production and a face of the franchise type of talent. First free throw is good. You know, Greg, thinking about LaMelo and this team, he's got the fans here in Charlotte excited. And, Kevin, let's be honest here for a moment. The Hornets haven't had a lot of luck in the draft. Finally, they knocked one out of the park, and the fans are ecstatic. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Boy, what a path for LaMelo Ball. I mean, he played in Lithuania and New Zealand while he was a teenager. And eventually the third overall pick of the 2020 NBA draft. Given the size disadvantage, you have to have a lot of confidence to take that shot. And you know what? He does. I mean, in the NBA, you've got to have ways to score over defenders of all sizes. Ball from long range. Again, ball missing. The 76ers lead. Hilton the pass to Embiid. Can't get it to fall. 
ball, feeling it out a bit. Over Milton. They grab their own miss. Plumley. And the rejection by Embiid. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Embiid. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. Now, here's Ball, defended by Milton. Just five to shoot. The Hornets need to get a shot off here. Here's Washington. Boy, outstanding hustle from Harris on the defensive end. They're doing a good job to alter shots with that activity. Out of bounds. Charlotte takes possession. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for the Charlotte Hornets. They trail by one. This game coming after a loss against the Bucks. Yeah, for that loss, you can credit their defense or lack thereof. Too many breakdowns on that end of the floor. Yeah, and that's really inexcusable. I mean, there's just no way that you can justify that. When you don't put the work in on defense, you're going to end up on the losing end. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. And that's a couple of very shaky possessions in a row. One turnover right after the other. Pass to Rogier. He kicks it to Hayward. Plumley trying to break loose, and Hayward gets it to go. Over the years, we've seen Hayward get stronger. He's packed on some muscle, and it helps him on these physical finishes. Harris outside. Good on the three-point shot. Harris has got his third bucket of the night. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's Rogier. We saw him with 19 points his last outing. Left of the wing. Ball against Harris. Just four to shoot. Ball no good. The 76ers have gone six of eight in the game so far. A very solid start for them. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. Here's Hayward. Plumley trying to break loose. Off target at the rim. Philadelphia's gone 2-2 two two from three-point range here in the first quarter. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And along with terrific production, Harris is an interesting team leader. Very positive in his approach. And Greg, Harris has grown more vocal as his comfort level on the team has risen. And Kevin, he's always had it in him. Now that he's a veteran, he's earned the right. He always seems to bring the guys together. And he knocks down the first one. Boy, I tell you what, guys. Tobias Harris is a great scorer, and he's had multiple NBA stops, and I think you just have to simply say this guy has always been wanted. Here's what Charlotte's going with right now. Jones checked in for Plumley. McDaniels comes in for Washington. And Oubre is subbed in for Gordon Hayward. Both shots good from the strike. And you watch Harris. He's been playing with a high level of confidence. Well, Greg, he puts the work in during the offseason. It's obvious. That's why his game looks like it comes easier to him now because he's refined it through his work in the offseason. And in a lot of ways, he's bearing the fruit of that labor, and it's fun to see. No hesitation at all on the catch and shoot. Rogier knows his time is tight, and he lets it fly. Here's Milton. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. 
What's up? Boy, he's really been on a roll this quarter. Seems like everything he throws up is finding bottom. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. An 85% shooter there, and they've been able to count on him hitting his shots from the line. You know, one thing about getting going at the free throw line like he has this season, it can continue to carry over. Catching up on Let's the changes go. for Philadelphia. Andre Drummond's checked in for Joel Embiid. George Niang comes in for Harris. And Maxey subbed in for Curry. Here's Rogier. Seven points in the game. The pass to McDaniels. Kicks to Martin. Down low. Here's Jones. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Milton with it. He's against Martin. Takes the 13 footer, and Drummond is right there. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Now here's Jones. Rozier kicks to Martin. Down to five on the shot clock. Let's it go from deep. It's hauled in by Thibault. So for Philadelphia, their last game, a win against San Antonio. And he drives in, and Jones sends it back. And it's out of bounds. The 76ers able to retain possession here. Some changes for Philadelphia. Korkmaz comes in for Shake Milton. And Simmons subbed in for Matisse Thibel. Book Knight, he's checked in for the Hornets. Here's Maxi. No good that time. And the Hornets now going the other way. Puts it up from 12. Misses off the right iron. There wasn't much defensive resistance there, guys, but somehow he blew it anyway. Missed opportunity. Here's Korkmaz. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. And the basket is good. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. Now here's Book Knight. They trail by six to the inside. Oubre passes to McDaniels. The jumper from the free throw line is good. Really good job there. That's the definition of the inside-out game. Simmons looking around. And Simmons slams it in. What touch from the Australian native, Ben Simmons. I mean, he's so good at staying under control, even when facing physical contact. Now here's Book Knight. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And stolen by Simmons. Inside. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Book Knight passes to Jones. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Jones has got his second basket of the night. The 76ers leading by six. Now, here's Maxi. 11 points for him in that last game against San Antonio. Oubre outside. Drives to the hoop. George and the call Nian. will be against George Nian. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Oubre. And that comes off the assist by Jones. And now it's just a four-point Philadelphia lead. 158 left in the first. 
Here's Simmons, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Book Knight passes to McDaniels. And he lays it straight in. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And so Simmons will bring it up for Philadelphia. There's 126 left to play in the first. He dishes it to Drummond. Yes, that goes in. Drummond's got six. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And I say, hey, if it keeps working, go to it. Stay with it. I mean, until the defense responds and provides more resistance, keep making them pay. Oubre can't get it to go. Philadelphia leading by six. Korkmaz passes to Drummond. Korkmaz kicks to Simmons. 76ers moving the ball around. Here's Drummond. It's good. That's now eight points for Drummond. You know, Ben Simmons can make spectacular passes, but he doesn't need to be flashy. He's all about helping his teammates get easy baskets. Now here's Booknight. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Swiped away. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Simmons. This is to Drummond. Cody Martin. seconds left here in the first quarter. Simmons with it. Turned in an outstanding game against San Antonio. Three on the clock. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on James Booknight. Simmons doing a nice job being physical, taking the foul and still getting the shot up. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. Guys, he is close to where he was last year in that category, but um, his numbers are still down just a skosh. And the first one drops. You know, when Simmons went number one in the 2016 NBA draft, he was the third pick in 11 years to have been born in Melbourne, Australia. Andrew Bogut was first, and then Kyrie Irving next, and then Simmons. Really remarkable. Perhaps something in the water down under? That one misses. Oubre outside. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. 76ers on top. They lead by nine. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. And a bit of a lull in the play of Joel B. He sees the need to turn up the heat a bit. I think I need to, you know, be more aggressive. Um, you know, just look to impose myself, just look to dominate. I guess I need to go back to having fun and just dominate. Then. And certainly Embiid has shown he can dominate. MVP level talent. He's just got to bring it every time down the floor. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. They also haven't been afraid to take it strong to the hoop early on tonight. I like that. They've got Simmons. Andre Drummond is out there with Reed. Then there's Maxi, And it's Korkmaz in at the two. That's the group on the four for Philadelphia. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thank you. The Sixers have improved under Doc Rivers, who helped to define roles. 
River said, I did that day one. We're playing through Joel, but Ben is the facilitator. Simmons said, Doc's holding everybody accountable. It's about staying focused and not getting distracted. We have to stay locked in. Kevin, back to you. Well, they've got the talent for sure, D.A. Thank you. Here's Maxi. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got his third assist on the night. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. And, and that strange tension in the air. That's Ben Simmons and the 76ers. What looked like a surefire separation never materialized. And Simmons now still with the team. I can tell you, he has a lot to prove this year. And what makes Book Knight so difficult to guard? His ability to hit jumpers off the bounce. He's got a great handle and the quickness to create separation. I know it's unpopular with the analytics crowd, but his pull up from mid range is money. And he hits the first of three. And down the road, Greg, which current player might make for the best coach? Well, I'm always partial to the point guard. And if you're looking for leadership, man, Chris Paul, Mike Conley, those guys I think are destined to coach. I think LeBron would be a great one as well. But I got a sneaky suspicion he'd just rather own the team. No good on the second free throw. Nails the third. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played so far. Ball against Simmons. That's tipped to the paint. Here's Embiid. Ball with the rebound. Hornets trail by 14 to the middle. Out of bounds. It'll be 76ers ball. Rozier, he's checked in for Charlotte. And here's Curry, who brings it up for the 76ers. Only given up two points this quarter. Their last game, a win against San Antonio, looking to carry that into this one. Yeah, I felt like they attacked, but with a purpose. They knew what they wanted to accomplish coming in. Well, it really showed the trust they have in one another. I love how they got after it, and you could feel that they were playing for each other. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. From deep Washington. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Boy, he's a stretch four now with a dangerous outside shot. Washington loves letting that one fly from there. Simmons dishes to Harris. Outside curve. He's again, and they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. That's good. Pretty it, much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. And one of the more versatile players in this league, Simmons gives you assists, rebounds, steals, and he continues to develop as a scorer. And the 76ers making a change here. Eibel's checked in. The Hornets also with a sub. Mason Plumley's checked in for Kelly Oubre. And of course, Greg, Simmons gets the majority of his points from the foul line down. And a one-man wrecking crew in transition. Excellent at driving the ball in the half court. But once he gets downhill, he is tough Nathan to stop. Plumlee. And that one drops for him. Well done by Hayward on the assist that time. He's able to spot a wide open teammate because he plays with his head up. Hooked away. Stolen by Ball. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in this second quarter of play. Now the 
the 76ers on the break. Harris with the ball. And another turnover here by Philadelphia. The 76ers making a switch here. Milton's checked in. Hornets trail by 14. Outside, ball. Ball's knocked loose. Over Harris. Ball with the bucket. Ball's got his third basket of the night right there. Well, I tell you what separates Ball from a lot of players his age is that his footwork is advanced. He's got a almost a Ph.D. in footwork. Now here's Curry. He picked up 21 points in their last win against San Antonio. Nope, not that time. Nothing for two from the field. For Charlotte, they've gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Hayward finds Plumley. Charlotte moving the ball around. Six on the shot clock. There's Ball with the three, and another three another for Charlotte. Ball. And they're shooting really well from long range this quarter. They should keep looking to the three-point shot for some extra offense. Now, here's Milton. Defense right on him. Hornets trail by nine. Curry with him. Picked up by Rozier. Title for three. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Bible's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Hayward outside, passes the ball. Driving to the basket. And good that time. E. Washington. Washington's got his second bucket tonight. Boy, nice job that time by P.J. Washington to knock down the shot after setting the screen. Curry with the bounce pass. Pass to Milton. Shot clock at five. For three. The Hornets pull it in. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. That game is the first and last of their home start. Rozier the pass to Washington. Shoots over Curry, and it's Washington missing. The 76ers leading by 10. On the wing, Milton. Defended by Hayward. The pass to Curry. Pass to Embiid. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. George Niang, he's checked in for Philadelphia. And timeout time called out. James Borrego has had enough. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. with the ball. It's a 10-point game. Hayward outside. Passes it to Rozier. There's Ball with the three. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. 76ers have gone 6 of 11 from the floor. Over 
50% shooting here in the second quarter. A precision pass for Curry. Also excellent at seeing his guys when they're open. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for Charlotte. Hayward outside. Pass to Rozier. Fires the three. Kept alive. Here's Plumlee. Makes it off the glass. Nathan Plumlee. Plumlee's got his second basket. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. you got to work harder on the glass. Here's Niang. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. There's the pass to Curry. Just five on the clock. Seth Curry. Andre Drummond's checked in for Seth Curry. Ball finds Plumley on the wing, Rogier. Clock at six. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Rogier's got it back down to a single digit deficit for the Hornets. It's from a high post. That's to Niang. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. Hornets trail by 10. Hayward looking around. He kicks the ball. A beautiful reverse lane ball. Ball's got seven points here in this quarter. Tell you what, the competitive spirit of ball, I absolutely love it. This guy is relentless. Pass to the end. On the way, Harris. Aston Yang, five to shoot. Now, here's Milton. He's covered by Ball. Milton's shot is good. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Charlotte calls timeout. And Clark, though he's improving offensively, Feibel earns his minutes at the defensive end. Well, how about this, Kevin? Joel Embiid said Thibel has the potential to be the best defender in the league, and that's with Embiid watching Ben Simmons defend at a high level. But his combination of length, strength, and willpower and want to makes Thibel incredibly disruptive. Some changes here for the 76ers. Cork Mize checked in for Shake Milton. And Maxi subbed in for Tobias Harris. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Jones checked in for Plumlee. McDaniels comes in for Washington. Martin's checked in for Gordon Hayward. And Book Knight comes in for Rogier. Now here is Martin. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Andre Drummond. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. No good on that. Wow, well, what did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> The 76ers making a switch here. Simmons is checked in. So he comes up empty at the line. And this kind of free throw shooting just leaves a coach shaking his head. I mean, they have been awful from the line this quarter. Here's Fable. The rebound by LaMelo Ball. 
Hornets trail by 10. He lobs up the alley -oop pass, and it's blocked. And it's out of bounds. The Hornets able to retain possession here. Kelly Oubre is checked in for ball. Clock at two. Oubre. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Oubre's got his second basket of the night. How about the inbound pass there? Easy bucket. And the pass to Drummond. Now, here's Maxi. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. And the 76ers lead by 10. Now, here's Booknight. Guarded by Simmons. Here's Oubre. No good on the shot. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Last time they came together was in Charlotte, where they fell to the Hornets. And their last time playing this club, foul trouble became a big problem for them. Their starters had to take an early stint on the bench. They've just got to be more careful tonight. It's that simple. I mean, those guys are too valuable. They need them on the floor. Reedy is checked in for the 76ers. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for Charlotte. Trailing by 10. It's Martin on the wing. Pass to Booknight. Oubre outside. Booknight passes to Martin. Over Simmons. It's sent back down by Simmons. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Five left here in the second. And here's Maxi. He's got nine. Bible for three. And Jones pulls it down. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think they need to continue to press that advantage. They've got to get back to that. Don't go away from that. It's been working so well for them. Stay with them. Just five on the clock. And that's a foul called on Kelly Oubre. That's his first foul. Guys, hard enough to win in this league, but when you continue to hurt yourself because of miscues, it makes it all the more difficult. Well, you put yourself in a tough spot. I mean, eight points yielded off turnovers this quarter already. Now here's Simmons. Eight points for him. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely sleep. Oubre finds Martin. Three-second difference between shot clock and game. The shot from the low post is good. Martin's got his first points in this one. I like the play call. Very solid, making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Passes it to Simmons. Over Martin. And that one off the back of the rim and in. And the 76ers lead by 12. And we've reached halftime in this one. 76ers lead by 12. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, with James Perego. Coach, too many easy buckets for them. Defensively, where do you dig in? We've got to stop penetration. That's the focus right now. They're getting to the paint. Just way too many points in the paint. Uh, too many breakdowns all over the board defensively. Yeah, that has to tighten up, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Yeah. 
Hornets trail by 12. Here's who James Borrego is starting the second half with. Out in the wings for them, Rozier and Hayward. P.J. Washington is out there with Plumlee, and it's ball in at the point. All Rozier needs is a little breathing room, and he's firing that thing, and usually knocking it down. For three, Harris. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Plumlee's got rebound number five here tonight. Now here's Hayward. Defense is right there. Good on the shot. Hayward's got six. In describing Hayward as a scorer, I think a good word is determined. I mean, he'll take contact if he has to. And whatever it takes to get his points, he's willing to do. Stolen by Ball. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Pass to Rozier. The dish to Hayward. Now Ball. That's his sixth field goal today, and that makes him now six for 11. So far, so good to begin this half. They're three for three. Perfect. And the call will be against LaMelo Ball. That'll be his second foul of the game. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Ben Simmons. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Now Embiid, his numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game. And it's Mason Plumley with the foul. That's his first foul. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. Now, here's Milton. He's got 13, and the shot is good. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. You know what, guys? Honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. The 76ers have hit most of their free throws tonight, 5 of 6. throw good Milton 90 seconds now into the second half the pass to Rozier now Washington guarded by Harris Hayward outside and it's Joel Embiid with the rebound Embiid's got his fifth rebound right now in the game Last season, Embiid posted career highs as a score. And Greg, he did it with unbelievable efficiency. And how about hovering around that coveted 50-40-90 club? What's amazing is how comfortable he looks. The defense is never able to speed him up. And it's Rozier missing. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. And there's a whistle. That goes on Terry Rozier. That's his first foul. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Milton kicks to Harris. He dishes it to Curry. Embiid against Plumlee. Four on the shot clock. Pass to Milton. A three. This is exactly where length and instinct combine to provide a stop. Ball doing it nicely at the defensive end. Harris against Rogier. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. At one point, they led by 16. Celtics will be coming into town for the next game. That game will conclude a three-game homestand. Passes it to Embiid. Here's Milton. 16 points for him. Curry on the wing. No good with the triple. Hornets trail by 10. 
Here's Ball. And Feibel sends it back. Now here's Curry. No points in the game yet for him. And he makes that one. Outstanding focus from Seth Curry. Nice job there of staying in control of his shot, even with the contact. And the latest wrinkle in Seth Curry's game, creating for others with consistency. And he's taking time with his reads, letting the defense commit, then making his move. All part of that maturation process. And just like his brother Steph, Seth is an impressive bucket getter. I mean, somebody whose role is to shoot and score the ball. Pass to Rozier. Hayward from outside. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. Hayward's got nine. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Hilton the pass to Thibel. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Now, here's Ball. 15 points in the game. And Feibel sends it back. Here's Hayward. The kick out to Rozier. They get it back. Plumley the pass to Washington. Outside ball. Fires for three. Good for basket number seven tonight on a not so unlucky 13 shots. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Now here's MB. Here's Curry, and it's sent back by Plumley. And he recovers it. And the basket by Curry. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. And the Hornets call time here. You know, Greg, sometimes it's just hard to quantify defense, but some new age metrics really value Mason Plumley. And there's a stat called defensive box plus minus that measures how good your team is with you on the floor. Uh, year in, year out, Mason Plumley is top 20 in the league, proving his overall effect on a game on the defensive end. Philadelphia making a change here. Niang's checked in. And a switcher also for Charlotte. Oubre is checked in for Plumley. Outside, ball. Now the pass to Rozier. Kicks it to Hayward. And Hayward at the stuff. Love seeing this energy from Hayward. Battling the defender to create an and one opportunity. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Guys, the passing we've seen from them has been tremendous. Very unselfish. Yeah, but, but they also What's never up? seemed to get cold from mid-range. Just kept hitting those shots with consistency. You know, after suffering that gruesome leg injury back in 2017, Hayward has really bounced back with great confidence, and I think it's simply a testament to his love for the game and his relentless work ethic. Now, here's Milton. He's got 16. MB wide open. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. 
And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition switch ignited. Here's Ball after the made shot from Joel Embiid. Back to Ball. The train. The rebound by Niang. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Milton with it. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around 7.5 points a game. Drummond's checked in for the 76ers. Maxi comes in for Curry, and then for Charlotte. Jones checked in for P.J. Washington. And McDaniels subbed in for Gordon Hayward. And here is Ball. 18 points for him. Oubre, right side. He kicks it to McDaniels. Shot clock at five. And it's Ball penetrating. Ball. That sudden burst by Ball is so effective. Zipping in before the defense can react. Now, here's Milton. Rogier defending to the paint. Here's Harris. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. That's good and the 76ers lead has got back down to eight points. They needed that one from Rozier. Well, I tell you what, Rozier is a guy who doesn't back down. Matter of fact, this guy will take a hit and keep on ticking. Now, here's Maxi. Nine points in the game so far. Harris misses. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. Ball dishes to Oubre. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got his fifth assist in this one. And timeout, Philadelphia timeout. decides to take their first timeout right here. Boy, what a rookie season for LaMelo Ball. He was the third overall pick and saw immediate action for the Hornets. And in my mind, Kevin, I thought he was the clear rookie of the year front runner early. Changes for Philadelphia. Reed comes in for George Nia. And it's Ben Simmons in for Shake Milton. The Hornets also with a sub. Martin's checked in. Now here is Reed. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Harris finds Simmons. Launches a three. And Harris gets it to go on the assist by Simmons. You know, the mindset Harris has is one that allows him to be ready to shoot as soon as that ball touches his hands. Catch and fire. Pass to McDaniels. It's Martin on the wing. Guided by Simmons. Martin's in the post. Lay down him. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. He's 0 of 2 at the line in this one. Shooting two. And that one misses. He doesn't get the second one. 
If you look at the leaders in rebounding, it's almost a sure thing that Drummond's name is going to be near the top of that list. That's the kind of impact on the boards he's made over his career. And Greg, when it comes to players who've led the league in rebounding, very few have done it as many times as Drummond. And of the guys that have done it more than twice, like Andre, I've got some good news for him. Every one of them is either in the Hall of Fame or soon will be. That's good from Harris. drops them both just solid really one of the very best there is at the free throw line and here's ball he'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets it's a 10-point game passes it to Oubre from the arc and the three ball is good Oubre has got a pair of threes now here in the third for Charlotte a legitimate sniper from distance. Love seeing Oubre Jr. shoot it with such precision. Maxi passes to Simmons. Here's Harris. Oubre pulls it in. Hornets trail by seven. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Yeah. Shooting five for eight. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now here's Simmons. He's got 10. And here's Harris from the arc. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Jones has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Martin against Reed. Martin kicks the ball. Oubre outside. And there's a whistle, and that's going to go on Simmons. That is his first foul of the game. And the Hornets making a change here. Hook Knight's checked in. Fifty-two left in the third quarter. Simmons against Martin. They get the rebound. A shot. No good. The 76ers leading by five. Outside, Simmons. As to Drummond. Simmons against Martin. Harris, right side. Down to five on the shot clock. It's over Oubre with the clock winding down and Drummond throws it down. There are a few men in the league that attack the glass as well as Drummond does. He's almost unstoppable chasing down second points. He's a tenacious and ferocious offensive rebound. The pass to McDaniels. And he uses the glass on the way. McDaniels got his third basket of the night. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Hornets trail by five. Now Oubre plays it up and banks it in. Oubre has got ten points now just in this quarter. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. A slow start, but this quarter he has really been the man. Simmons passes to Harris. Number 12 goes in. He's made 7 of 12 now. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Oubre outside. From deep. Here's Jones, and then Jones with the jam. 
Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. You know, that time I thought he did it with authority. Tremendous putback at a time when they really need it. Tobias Harris, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Philadelphia 76ers. It's been an excellent game for him offensively. He's got 21 points and counting. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. So on the floor for Philadelphia. Matisse Thibel's out there with Reed. Then it's Simmons. Then there's Andre Drummond. And it's Maxi in at the point. And it goes down two points. Drummond's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for the 76ers. Hornets trail by five. Here's Book Knight. Martin dishes to Oubre. Some solid defense from Reed. You know, you don't always get that opportunity, so those are the ones you hate to miss. Yep, that one goes. And it's a 7-point 76ers lead. That's exactly what they like to see from Simmons. Not taking a sideways or neutral approach. Instead, hey, let's go through that contact. Oubre outside. Hulk loose. Outside, Martin. That's the book night. Over Maxi. And he gets it to go. Hitting off the back of the rim. You know what? Sometimes something good can come out of a bad possession. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Inside. Here's Drummond. Beautiful dish. And the layup goes down. Drummond's got four points this quarter. When Drummond's points come, they tend to come inside. He's got a lot of ways to beat you down low. It's Martin on the wing, and that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Simmons. And some changes here for the 76ers. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Drummond. And it's Seth Curry in for Maxi. Finds Rogier. Passes the ball. Takes a three. That's good. And it's Rogier with the assist. Ball's got 23 points. He's putting on a commanding performance here. He's hit two three pointers in each half now. Got a piece of it. Pass to Reed. Down low. Goes up the baseline. Clock at four. D2 from Feibel. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Impeccable from the line since halftime. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. Two. Matisse Feibel. He misses the free throw. Harris is checked in for the 76ers. He hits the second from the line. He did the important part at the line there. The heavy lifting, if you will. 
made this a two possession game. Simmons against Ball, knocks it loose, and stolen by Simmons. The pass to Harris, back to Simmons. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Curry passes to Embiid. A rebound by Washington. Washington's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Pass the ball. Plumley with it. Guarded by Embiid. Here's Rozier. Out to Hayward to the left side wing. Shot clock at six. And he lobs it up. And it's slammed in by Plumley. Well, you know, it's obvious that Ball knows exactly how to work the angles. He gets the ball to a wide open shooter just about every time. Simmons passes to Kirk. Now Embiid. And it's sent back by Plumley. Now, here's Washington. Dishes the ball. The kick out to Rogier. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Curry looking around. And B trying to break loose. Feibel can't get it to go. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for the Charlotte Hornets. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. By employing the change of pace dribble, Hayward creates windows for a shot inside and outside. throw good from Hayward. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Ben Simmons. Makes it, and the next one could tie it up. Makes it, and it continues to shoot well from the line. The 76ers have gone three and six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Milton the pass to Embiid. Knocked away. Ball with it. To take the lead. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Bible has got six rebounds in the game. Stolen by Ball. And a fast break now for the Hornets. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just a great ball movement. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Hornets? The mid-range that you've seen from them about as good as it gets. And there has not been a drop-off in the second half. I've been impressed with how well they penetrated tonight, too. Free throw drops for Hayward. The 76ers trail by three. Milton kicks to Harris. Passes it to Curry. To the inside. Embiid. You'd be hard-pressed to find someone more confident than Embiid. He's got plenty of confidence, and he's a funny guy, too. Extremely entertaining. He said, the mindset I get when I'm on the floor is that I'm the best player in the gym. And much of the time, he ain't wrong. First one falls for him. Drafted third overall in 2014. Wow, it's been that long already. Joel Embiid didn't play his first NBA game for two years. Philadelphia was extra cautious with his foot injuries. Well, Joel has proven to be well worth the wait. <laughs>
And MB drops them both. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock them down from the line. Pass to Rozier. A shot by Hayward, wide open. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. Hayward's got the lead up to four now for Charlotte. The 76ers have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. And the dunk by Embiid. Embiid showing you a little force, wanting to dunk it down whenever he can. Rozier finds ball. The kick out to Rozier. And that one drops. And the Hornets lead by four. And you've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back into this game. Extremely impressive was the rally they made. I mean, we'll see how much their comeback might have taken out of them. And, and we'll see if they can keep that foot on the pedal now. Here's Harris. Not enough on that one as it misses. Here are the Hornets with the ball. They're on an 18-7 run. And Hayward with the stuff. Boy, we're really seeing the best of Hayward tonight. He's really a versatile scorer. All kinds of ways to break down the defense. To the middle. Here's Embiid. Collects the two-pointer near the hoop. And that's 12 points for Joel Embiid. Coming off a big game. His confidence could be higher. And Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take it. Rozier kicks to Hayward. Left side, ball. And yes, it's good. Ball's got 12 points here in the second half. Boy, ball plays with so much confidence. You know this guy believes in what he can do, including finding ways to score it inside. Here's Milton. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Hornets leading by six. Rozier kicks the ball. Beyond the arc. And no good that time. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Rozier against Curry. And there's the pass to Embiid. Back to Curry. But three. Sinks the triple. This is why you pay Seth Curry the big contract, the big money. His range is unlimited. And the Hornets time call time here. Let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, LaMelo Ball. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thanks, Kevin. James Borrego had some words for his team over the break. He's encouraged where they are at this point in the game, but he told his guys... Things can turn in a blink. What we need to do is execute the rest of the way. So we'll see if they can finish this one off, Kevin. All right, David, thanks. And here are the Hornets now. 
three-point lead. Hayward outside. Pass to Rozier. Here's the three. Milton grabs the board. 76ers are gone. Six and 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. Good. Nice job down low. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. Bounce pass, Washington. Hayward outside. Six to shoot. The kick out to ball. Over Milton. And Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got eight rebounds in this game. Here's Fiber. Uses the glass to finish the lane. There is just no way to tell who is going to pull this one out. When you've had this many lead changes, you're looking to see which one of those plays is going to be a momentum swing. Ball finds Bumley. And here's Hayward. That's good. And it's Rozier with the assist. Rozier's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. The 76ers trail. Curry passes to Milton. Here's Embiid. The layup missed. Charlotte has gone three of five from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. Here's Washington. The kick out to Ball. Takes it from 10. Pass to Rozier. Five on the clock. Releases. Doesn't go for him. And it's Philadelphia the other way. You know, he looks a little off-kilter to me this quarter. Still trying to find his rhythm. Hornets shooting certainly a key for them in this one. 55% from the field. Here's Hayward. And for another field goal. A sublime 9 of 14 on the night. When the pressure mounts, you want to get the ball to a guy whose pulse is flatlined. That's Gordon Hayward. Harris kicks to Thibel. Pass to Embiid. Harris trying to get free. And with that, the Hornet lead is cut down to just two points in the bucket from Joel Embiid. Ball, the pass to Rozier. Back to ball. Three-pointer. Philadelphia grabs the miss. There's a minute 34 left to play in the final quarter. On the pass to Harris. Over Washington. Harris's shot is off. Hayward outside. Kicks it to ball. Pass to Rozier. A shot missing. Some solid defense from Harris. Down low. Here's Embiid. It drops. A huge shot to tie it up. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Outside ball. I tell you, there's nothing more impressive than seeing a young player keeping his composure in a high-stakes big league situation. Timeout called the 76ers. They're behind by two. 43 seconds left in the fourth.
Oubre is checked in for the Hornets. Forty-three seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Curry. No good. Shot missing. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. We can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, I think you want to milk your possession. Ball. I do not know if there's a more confident family in the NBA. Ball wants the ball when it matters most. And the 76ers call time here. They're down by four. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And game clock separated by less than six seconds. With the teardrop, here's Harris. Plumley with the rebound. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. Four point game. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. That's a good foul, though. I like that. I mean, clock management crucial at this time of the game. Charlotte calls timeout. They're up by four. 15 seconds left in the game. Fifteen seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one, and that's an intentional foul. The mellow ball. Shooting two. Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. You no know, mistakes there. Good free throws to give them just a little bit more cushion. From deep three-point range, a shot by Milton, no good. And so they foul yeah. intentionally. Lamelo ball. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead.
And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. Five seconds left to play here in the fourth. Will it go? Missed. And so it's Charlotte with the win. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it really an outstanding effort all the way around. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Gordon, what turned this game around tonight? Came out with energy in the second half. I mean, uh, after we had a little bit of a lull there, uh, called a timeout, and we regrouped and got it together. I thought we played well, shared the basketball. We regrouped. Yeah, it certainly looked like a different team the second half. Thanks, Gordon. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.